all right so morning everyone welcome back again for another mg sports tv update podcast whatever you want to call it <laughs> youtube video it doesn't really matter just happy to, happy to have you guys here with me this morning just gonna do a short video on the reggae girls as you know the olympic qualifiers are on the way um coming up well they're coming up and we have match next week friday so hopefully we can see a fairly decent stadium the squad is out and i will be running through the players and let you inform you guys of who is in the squad so you guys can get that particular update so please do people please do let's do the youtube stuff please do please do please i'm begging you guys do the youtube stuff by hitting that like button and if you're here for the first time please do subscribe to the channel if you want regular updates on football jamaican football reggae girls reggae boys all things football this is a channel where football matters yeah anyways so big up on yourself and that thank you very much again for tuning in now let's jump all straight over now the olympic qualifiers is big people you remember we just had a recent wonderful campaign in the um the world cup the women's world cup brilliant campaign and certainly because it was a brilliant campaign we'd want to see the support we want to see that continued support of the girls going into these olympic qualifiers and we'll be playing at home people we will be playing at home so all of those keyboard specialists the the baddest the, the most loyal supporters over the internet i would wish to see you in the national stadium unfortunately i'm saying right here no one dead i'm saying it right here unfortunately that won't be the case we couldn't get a full stadium for the reggae boys we had two games and the two games maximum roughly fifteen thousand person turn up for the two games people are gonna say that's a lot think about it we still we can't see a full stadium we cannot see a full stadium so even if we don't see a full stadium people let's see if we can come out in our numbers to show the support to show the support and the reggae boys can tell you what, how the support that they got at the national stadium especially against 80 when they were too locked down they got huge support and that really really galvanized the players and pushed them back so that's not about the reggae boys but we want to see that support for the reggae girls as well now let's jump straight over to the 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 the, 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 the let's let me show you guys the, the squad um this is what the squad looks like as you can see um goalkeepers sydney Scheich, Snindy, sydney schneider Re rebecca spencer and leah brooks those are the three goalkeepers i think that's off the bat um defenders alias alison swaby chantel swaby the swaby sisters aka uh denisha blackwood then then um kanya plumber plumber is back um tierney wilshire tiffany cameron and sashana campbell so that is our defensive what our defense look like pretty solid defense i would say this is a, this is the same defense that really really drive us through that work up we couldn't score but we could have we can defend we can't score but we can't defend um in the midfield now we have vivian samson we have drew spence baller um atlanta premiums Paige bailey gale um and adama lokun um adomo adamo lekun the first name people let me tell the first name if me try me might say some words on the, on the program and youtube end up on the, on the, the video ah uh, yeah i'm negative this video so me now go try say it um alufa lashed 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 alufa 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 la shade alufa la shade me try <laughs> i try i tried people anyways um the forward line now we have khadija shah jody brown um solia washington happy to see washington um trudy carter we have chinia matthews cameron simmons and kayla mckenna now the forward line big that's for sure the forward line is big i think like jody brown and and carter might be playing out wide in some sense um so i think that's just strictly the entire forward line so you know those, those are the white areas midfield now it's a one-off game so i don't think you need um more players so i do think this is actually a very good squad it's a really really good squad um not sure what Canada squad looks like i haven't seen them as yet but this is actually a solid solid squad uh and i'm hopeful i think i think we can i think this, can, this squad can get the job done I, I think the squad can definitely get a job done. I don't think it's a difficult game for for, 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 for these ladies. I don't think this will be um 
much of a tough game for these ladies. Uh, not saying that Canada is not good, just saying that I do think that based off the squad that we, we, we are known, I do think that this squad is more than enough, are more than capable. Based on what we saw in the World Cup against the France, the Brazil and this team, I do think that this squad is more than capable um, enough to get, um, get the job done um, versus Canada. So that's what the squad looks like, people. That's what the regular squad looks like for the upcoming Olympic qualifiers, which is next week. Um, let me just give you more information on that. I know you guys have asking information. So the game will be played on Friday. Awesome. I'll, oof. I'm going to see it. Uh, in, in more information. I'm going to find it. I think about roughly 7 o'clock um, in that region. I think about that time period. So anyways. Anyways, people. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you're here for the first time, big up on yourself, people. MG Sports TV. All right. Boom.